G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zorboodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, and welcome back to the No Repair Challenge. Now, I'm going to level with you, I've only just come back from America, so I actually haven't played this world for like 2 weeks, so I've barely got the foggiest of what I was on about the last time I left off, but all I know is that when I put down the PC last time before I went on a big tin pigeon off to the other side of the world, my plan was to make a crucible and to make make my house properly a home finally. Been meaning to do it for ages and it's finally the day. Speaking of the day, you are now ready to crack on. You can go immediately. I have a treasure map on me for some reason. I forgot why, but I do. You can go immediately into them. There's a bit of fuel for you and you can start cranking out. Finally, look at that. Some honest to goodness steely hotness. Lovely. I am probably going to need a fair bit more iron, though. Like, that was almost all of my iron whiz banged right off the top. Do I have any more hanging about? I do. I'll grab you and I'll chuck you in immediately. Probably not a bad shout to go and do some mining at some point, but speaking of mining. Actually, do I have anything that's going to kill her before? I've got a blade trap. Can you slice her up before she gets to my fence? Go on. There you go. There you go. Oh, almost. Almost. Not even. Not quite. She did get the gurgle out. So that's a new pressing issue for me to deal with. G'day, sunshine. Right. It's all kicking off immediately. There's just a couple. Of those looks like some regular Muppets and nothing so worrisome. No coppers, no nothing. So... <laughs> Bit of a lag spike, we're fine, but I can just very swiftly and delicately remove everything north of your noggin. You too. Thank you. That siren needs to stop, though. Can you... There you go. Just shush you. Is it just you left over? No loot bags, no nothing for me. That's a little bit greedy. Come on, I'm having such a good day already. Bring me some presents. Bring me a housewoman. So now that I have that steel production off and going, I have a quick little gander at you. I did make myself some, uh, some wooden blocks to make my house as well. What's it going to take to make a tier 3 tacky boy is only, ooh, only 10 forged steel. I reckon this will be the last AK that I make. The next weapon I make will probably be, at that point, maybe even a tier 5 tacky boy. But now I've got you. That's all wonderful. I would love to get cracking onto a gyro. Do I have any skill points? Do I have any skill points to spend? I do have one. I'm going to put the next one into Grease Monkey. Mm, I reckon. Okay, I'm going to have to build this first because that's, that's definitely pressing, I promise you. But if I have time later today, hit up a passing gas, get some more books under my belt or into me noggin and start making myself a whirly bird. <laughs> I mean, I can't repair the sodden thing. I'm going to crash it a lot, but until it goes down to the ball of flames, it'll be fun. That's funny. I've been planning what I was going to do with my house for so long. By planning, I mean more just basically fantasizing. It's been about as close to... Oh, wait. Jeez, I said the word planning and my body immediately rejected it because fantasizing is as close to it as I'll ever get. But after all my fantasizing, I still have no idea what I actually want to do with it at all. I know I want to keep as much light coming in as possible, but if I make you nice and tall, I could be a pillar up there. What's that? One, two, three, four, including you. I can have the doorway here into like a second level of my house. All right, yeah, now sure, architecture on the fly. What could go wrong with this? Got a nice little doorway right smack dab in the middle. Because what I want to have is like, this is still my storage area down below down here. Got a nice little workstation going on, which is a little bit accidental, but let's pretend like it was deliberate. Got the workstation up here. That's all fine and dandy. But then the storage area out here and like the utility closet with the power and stuff like that. But then up the top... I want to have it somewhere nice to kick off me boots and invite Jen around later. Somewhere to relax a little bit and have it a little bit nicer than a dust-covered workbench. So put some windows in on that side. Uh, I reckon I'm pretty fine just to go along the tippity top with you. Although if I'm going to have windows down the guts of it, do I want to make... That's not how you spell that, Josh. Uh, that is how you spell that, but it's still not coming up with anything. Or is it in you now? Is it like, yeah, it is too. Yeah, it is too. And look at all the different options you have as well. Okay. And they all seem to be on the side of the block. Okay, that's what I wanted to check. That's all good. I can work with that as long as I know what I'm looking at. I mean, look, it's not going to be much. And by much, I mean, it's going to be this, well, like, four-story monolith on the outskirts of town. But if it's going to be anything, it's going to need some nice glass work and some nice natural light coming through. Jen's never going to move out of her lovely church if my church isn't better. So chuck in all you guys across there. Stand on top of my Jew collectors. Have a little look at you. That looks pretty good to me. 
Although, ooh, I wonder, is there like a block in here somewhere if I search you and get rid of the presets? Could I stick like a tiny window in amongst the rest of the windows or am I asking too much? I'm probably asking too much in such a little area. You can't put big things. At least that's the rumors I've heard. I actually kind of like that. I wasn't really expecting much at all, but there's like a little, just a little peeping window just above the doorway there. If I can't get rid of the rest of the wood underneath it. I like the way I have this kind of like whole wedge system around it to frame the door, which by now I think I probably have in my pocket and I do. You, you're gonna need to be purple there, champion. There you go. It's not much of a purple, but beggars can't be choosers, and any purple's good by me. Except fucking magenta. Magenta is not purple. Get rid of you. Ah, oh, but see how the door's on the side and you're in the middle. Hmm, okay. That's all right. That's okay. Well, what if I get the same block again? Copy you, and I flip you upside down. Sometimes that helps. Actually, you, know, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm willing to gamble. I'm willing to gamble on it. I'll fix up the railings, but mm, I actually don't hate that. I don't hate that at all. The only thing that I do wish it had was like a rounded top up the top up there, but there's no four meter arch. There's, I mean, there's only like really two meter arches in the windows. Despite all the new blocks we have, there's still not that many options for nice window choices. You, I'm going to need this to be the floor above where I'm walking around in my, uh, what should I call it, in my storage area. So I don't want to be a full block with claustrophobic, like a two block roof in Minecraft. And if I go like that, a nice little plate flips upside, upside down, is definitely a plate. Across to there, I can move you just for a moment. So like that, you can, oh, you can start, you can start to get an idea as the rains come in. That's going to be the living quarters up there. That's plenty enough space, plenty enough space. Just trying to like envision how I'm going to actually have my way up there. Like, yeah, I've got the ladder in the tower itself, but that's not how I want to get around. You know, we're better than that now. We're building ourselves somewhere nice to live. You can't be scurrying up and down some ladder in a bell tower like you're the hunchback in Notre Dame. You actually got to give yourself some stairways to cruise about about on... Um, I reckon, I reckon if I just have like a stairway going like up the side then, up through here, I can hide the cupboard where I put all my electricity. Actually, that's not too bad. I can move all that. Or do I want to have like a double staircase or just the one? I reckon, let's, let's just go the one because all that's going to move over there. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, no. Nah, that works for me. All of you, if I do go there and you go, sorry, you come with me. Quickly read Sarah's treasure map. Thank you very much and grab all of that and we're just going to move some storage around but yeah stairway up here hang a louis and then up to the top plenty of floor space up the top there i've run out of iron in my forge as well so i mean it's a good amount of steel on me i think from memory uh, of how much the jar actually cost me that is the dream after all shafts cost like a 75 was it <laughs> not not even close. 75, he said, like a fucking pigeon in a tree. 187. Right. Fucking reachy ditch, copper. Thanks for that one. Okay, 187 steel, and I've got 169. Nice. So I'm going to need a lot more iron then. I we'll have to go out and do some mining for too long. That's my iron mine just then. But I can't get distracted just yet. That's still going to be there probably tonight when the sun sets, actually. But I need to get this finally up and going after so many days of promising. I'm going to try and measure this out with just the uh, the building blocks rather than the wooden blocks just for the moment. I do so love the spiral staircases. In fact, if I... Oh, it looks sick So It looks so cool to have one in the corner over here, but they're just so annoying and tedious to use in game you bobble about and i'm like a yoga with a string pulled you don't really get anywhere anytime quickly but I mean, how could i not though how could i not though they're so suave and so cool and so lovely done we're gonna give it a go we're gonna give it a go even if it's a bit tedious to use sometimes class has to have sacrifices a sacrifice no i'm willing to make like my name's lord fuck what fuck wit fuck whatever his name was you can go like that's up to the top. Although you come out, we're well, gonna come out facing the wrong way. This is the thing is you gotta this is the thing you gotta try and plan when you're doing this kind of stuff. So I wanna come out facing the room, not facing the wall, which means I should probably start. If I start like that, it's still gonna be facing a window. No, we just have to start like that though. Which isn't ideal at all. But 
No, you know what? No, it'll work. It'll work. Because even then, it's the same, really. You're walking into the corner and spin around to the right. What does it matter if you're on the stairs yet or not? I'm fully aware, by the way, that everything that I'm saying makes absolutely no sense. But it makes sense in Minogan. At least it kind of does. So I'm at least moving in somewhat the right direction. You, I want to copy that rotation again and flip you upside down like you. Yes, look at that. Look at that. You come down around here. And because it's not full blocks, you can slink on underneath. Done. Done. Never built a spiral staircase on my bases before, but it's the first time for everything. I'm going to do it. What a time. That looks just about perfect. The only thing I don't like about you right now is... Oh, I don't... Hang on a second. Before, just to make, just make sure all of this doesn't collapse when I start pulling things out. You go there. That makes everything attached. Okay, we're good. Using those building blocks as scaffolding more than anything else is really the name of the game. You, you're just a regular piece here. You are. Copper rotation to put you in like that. Perfect. No one's going to fall down there. No one's going to break their legs because, I don't know. I mean, the person who lives here is uh, impervious to it. It's on visits with some slightly shattery shin bones. I know what that's like. Want to make sure that all their bones stay intact. This is all coming together rather well, actually. I do say so myself. I need to... Oh, that was the wrong button. I need to replace the stairs with some actual stairs, not just building blocks. I've immediately forgotten the orientation I put all those down into. Uh, that way, I think I'm going to build it the opposite way to usual. This can only end in tears, but... Oh, well, let's give it a go anyway. Oh, uh, I, I, I regret. I have so many regrets about this. You... That's facing the right way. And then you, I think. Okay. All right. All right. I didn't completely pin it. We're all right. But if I'm going to have some rinketing place at the top that looks absolutely spiffing, I can't be sleeping in a bloody sleeping bag. So, bed. King size bed. What do you need? In 40 cottons and a bunch of other shit that I already have. Actually, I've got bloody cloth coming out at various orifices at this, play at this point. Like I've been flossed by a bloody, I don't know, like a furniture making factory. I need to get 40 cotton. I'll get right on that. Oh, but actually, before, before I go do that, you, I did see window, not you. This is the perfect spot to have. Where'd you go? That one. I want to flip you upside down. Doing a lot of that uh, lately. Yeah, that way. You go there. You go there. I'm going to do the same on the other side, actually, because then I can put the other window in the little corner there, like you. And like you. And look at that. See, it all fits so nicely. See, it's little things like that that make it feel so much better. That all looks really nice, but I think the one thing that's missing, if my mum's out there watching this, well, first of all, I'm very sorry for what I ended up doing as a day job, but second of all, she's going to want some peaky roofs. Classy lady, I'm telling you. So I'm going to grab you. I'm going to start building that up to the very tippy top to put a nice little point up the top of this. It'd be reasonably tall, but that's okay. I'm willing to do it. Well, actually, I'm going to run out of wood before too long as well. Split you. Get my windows back. And where were you? That one there. So I just want to sit downstairs as well. Uh, no, not on face. I want to flip you upside down, though. Like, like that? No, that's, that's the normal way. Like that. There we go. That one there. And then that one there. We continue that up. So that window keeps on going. Yeah, it's going to look sick all the way to the top. This place is going to be mint. I just continued on the design a little bit further. And look at that. It's going to look so good. That's going to look so bloody good. God, I love building in this game so much. Like, yeah, there's so many games out there that you can build in. But something about building something like this in seven days just gives me the fizz in ways I can't really explain. Can I go like that. There you go. Put you in there. And same one again. And same one again. How are you? That looks fucking fantastic. Check it out from the Widow's Walk. It's half past three in the afternoon. Remember when I said like I had time today? I did up a new passing gas and see if I could find more books or anything. Of course, there's no extra time for it. What a build. It's still not, it's still not as tall as the tower, which I like. This should be the tallest part of the whole building. But that, that looks sick. That looks sick. I'm actually, I'm stoked with how that looks. Now all I need to do is just add the same onto this side. I'm going to need a whole lot more wood to do it, but... but that's so good. I'm stoked with that. The only thing that's going to put a stop to my production is my lack of materials, which in fairness is probably a pretty good reason to stop production. There's a lot of trees over there. I might go and start swinging my axe about like I've got something to prove. How is mine? You're looking fine in them. Steel axe. Steel axe. How are you looking? I can make it to you three. 
I need four more forged steel. Got plenty more of that where that came from. Oh, actually, though, that means with all of you, I now have what I needed just to make the gyro. Look at that. I've got a surplus of eight. Well, got to spend it to make it all over. That's saying supposed to go. I'm short on wood, as always, but... My T1 steel axe is almost completely knackered, so probably time for an upgrade. What I also need, though, was the ratchet. I can make a T2 of you, so I definitely can't make the impact driver. Yeah, go on then. Go on there. Don't even know where my wrench is gone, but a ratchet sounds spicy. What I do need to do, because I've got these dirt blocks. You can see like this slightly different shade of ground along here. I've got these dirt blocks there to build, uh, to grow myself nice big trees. Need to make sure I don't crash my bike. I've got 3% health left on it. But I need to get pine tree seeds to make that work. Because otherwise the oak trees just come in through. My brand spanking John was building over there. That looks so good. God, I'm glad I finally pulled my foot out and actually started building myself something. That looks so bleeding wonderful. Oh, I want to live there. <laughs> I want to put my feet up. If Jim wants to come, that's up to her. But man, the house is made already. I don't really want to have to go all the way back to the pine forest to get pine trees. So I might actually go... In fact, hey, before I start driving, you, please make me all those wood blocks that I so desperately need. You, another 60, not too shabby. Mark might have a little chit wag to Jenny girl. I mean, she might sell me pine seeds. I, I don't know. I never really look at those things when I go and see her. And she restocked yesterday. And again, yesterday in videos was two weeks ago for real me. So I couldn't remember the first thing about whether or not I went and go, uh, went, went to see her yesterday. So I'm going to go have a little, a little pop in. A little good, eh? A little, um, little cheeky grin. Make sure I close the door. All about manners after all. Jenny girl, how are you? What's going on? Oh, quickly check you for... Still no sugar butts. I remember that being a problem. Yes. Drugs, booze. I've got it all. You sure do, Jen, but do you have a pine tree seed? Furious, ooh, furious fist books. I do need those. I got a little bit of dosh on me. If that's them, I usually buy books whenever I see them. So potentially I didn't come here yesterday. Gunpowder, and we buy that one too. I'm willing to bet that I didn't. Got a suppressor as well. Compibo, bottle of acid, tacky assault rifle, solar bank. It's the solar cells that I need. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. No. Mm, no. All right, so I'm going to need to go and find myself some pine trees. Once I get a couple of them, I can replenish the seeds. But in the meantime, I'll buy you and anything else you might have. It wasn't especially much, but I did buy the cement, the cobblestones, and a couple electric fences as well. Now that was a good deal. Absolutely, it was, me. Jenny girl. Um, what do you have? Oh, we've got a T4 infestation of the post job. office. May not be a bad shout. Do you have... Gotta... No, oh, do you have one at... And rewards. A parking garage. Does that count as like a parking garage? Do you reckon there's going to be vehicle books in there? Not just the job for someone with your <laughs> oh, you got to send me to the strippers. I've, I very rarely need a second invitation from her that one, Jen, but I mean, yeah, here's the thing. I do I do the thing that I'm supposed to do? Do I go and uphold my responsibilities as an adult in the apocalypse I'm or the do I go I and see some jizzle physics? I mean, clearly it's the second one. There's always this time for books later. Trendy. I need to get my bike fixed. I need to get my bike fixed so urgently. It is sputtering out more fumes. If I don't get that fixed, people are going to think I'm one of those guys that rolls cold to pretend like I'm cool or some shit. And I don't want to associate myself with that kind of tomfoolery. No bloody thank you. Uh, what, what have I got? I've got 75 blocks on me. Up, uh, my lovely spiral staircase. Up we go. Spin around, baby. Right round. Okay, so... The sun's setting. I am going to go mine all that iron at night time. So now I just need to replicate that on this side. Put the windows in the middle. Is there though, is there like the same kind of window but on a slant like that, right? You've got like the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse there as the barrier. You guys, I reckon that. I mean, it's not the same kind of lattice work as these ones, but that's okay. It's the roof. It can be a little bit different. But hey, having like a glass ceiling? Oh, it's like my name's Charlie in a chocolate factory. I'm not sure about putting it right up to the very tip top. I'm not even sure about maybe... Oh, no, I think that's the right call. Put it on the outside of the block. So it's all kind of like... Instead of being on the inside line, like this one, it's on the outside line. You can see what I mean by that. But do I go all the way to the tippy top, or do I have that be a solid line across it? 
Mmm, not sure. That is a tough ask, but I do know that I want you to go all the way along like that. Even though it's made out of wood, it doesn't look like it. It's made, it looks like glass, but I promise you it's splinters. It's like that newfangled bamboo fabric they can make now. Who even needs to adhere to physics? Apparently, wood can be cloth. So you go across like that. That can go across like you. I'm okay with this. This looks bloody wonderful. Yeah, I think that was the right call. Although it is, it is starting to feel a bit like a greenhouse given there's more sun coming through than anything else. I'm going to absolutely bake in here. And without any sort of air conditioning and I live in a freaking desert, that's going to be great. going to be sweating bullets forever. Although that means my ammo supplies for Horde Knight won't be too bad. Okay. Yeah, no, that's all right. That's all right. I've used up almost all of the wood I just went and gathered again. It goes so freaking quickly. I'm just trying to build cool shit. I really think it's the glass ceiling that's stopping it feeling like an actual house. It definitely feels like a greenhouse. I mean, that's some kind of house, but I'm not a plant and I definitely don't grow in the sun that well. I reckon if I change out that roof to be regular blocks instead, it's got to like have some shade. That's a good idea. Then I can have nice big windows on the side. And that will be just about it. Hmm, there's a lot of windows. There's a lot of windows, but it's all coming together pretty well. I didn't get the cotton. You didn't get the cotton, you sponge cake. God damn it, I gotta get out. I gotta get out there and get the cotton before the sun goes down. I can't leave it out there all its own. All right, if I was cotton, where where would I be? If I had to live around, oh, please don't hit the fence, gonna break your freaking bike. I live around a lot of farms. There might be a couple of strands of cotton around the joint, but not an awful lot. I might have had some cotton seeds back home, but it's going to take way too long to grow. I... There's another big field down there. Another big field down... Okay, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. That's the go. That's the go, I reckon. Just go and ransack everybody's fields like a freaking Mr. Wilson. Grab everything I possibly can. And there's a couple of bits of cotton in... Jericho Ranch's farm. I'll grab that. Thank you. Gonna go with the old fisty cuffs. Grab you. Get three per pop. How many did I did like? I did like 40. That's a potato. That's not cotton. <laughs> Don't think you can make a, a bed out of potatoes so you can give it a red hot crack. But you might roast them instead. You can hear a dingo out there somewhere. Any other cottons? Any other cottons at all? Normally, they're so plentiful and bountiful, you just sneeze and you get 40 of the sodden things. But now, I'm actually having to look for them and it's weird. Oh, oh, that's, that's not weird. That's less weird. Sit. Get sat down, boy. Really didn't think it'd be this hard with all the farms around to find any cotton plants, but yep, <laughs> there's none. Quickly check the truck for bunches of cotton. No, just harvesting tools and one steel. I'm a grateful boy, so I'll say thank you and carry on my way. Where else then? Potentially up there. I don't know. I'm really, I'm really grasping at straws now. There's so much yucca and so much everything. No pine trees. Oh, if there's even bloody vultures out here now. No pine trees, no cotton, nothing. The storm's really chucking it down, and I can't really see that far in front of me. So in the in the name of extreme precaution, oh, I'm going full throttle because slowing down. Ah, well, no one's got time for that. Literally, got things to do today. It's not midnight yet. I'm still a worker boy. Is this my turn off? I reckon it is. I can see some sort of silhouette in the rain down there. I hope it's my home. I did cut down an awful lot of trees on my adventures, but most of the time doing that actually. So I do have a fair bit of wood that I can finish my construction project with. Pull up just out the front. How much did I get? Did get some hunting out of a tree as well? I've got almost a thousand. 97 more blocks for me. Lovely. Does Supergirl always glow like that, or is that just my imagination? Either way, it's very warm and welcoming. Our crops will need to be harvested anyway. I've already done the super corn on the other side. Although when I free up the space from the hops, I need to make myself some more frothies as well. Down I love this spiral stick as we go. Do I have... Do I have cotton seeds? That might be my best go. If only I had a search bar so I can find it quickly because my eyes are failing me. Yucca, pumpkin, aloe, blueberry, chrysanthemum, coffee, uh, golden rod hops. Nah, okay, I don't. Nah, okay, I don't. Huh. I'm... <laughs> I'm really up a creek without a paddle, aren't I? How do I have no cotton? Well, actually, how's this then? I did get six cotton off my last adventure, so cotton seed. One. One. It's going to cost me five cottons to... Plant a seed. I have max level. Oh, jeez. I have max level of the land as well. And that's actually not going to cut it. 
I can't. I mean, if I gamble on that, I'm going to get three back and potentially a seed, but I might just waste two. But five is enough anyway, so I'll make one of you and see how it goes. It's not, it's not a great plan. I admit, it's not the best plan I've ever had, but when do I ever have good ones? I've put in the framework for the other side of the house, and I was just thinking, like, there's the doorway here with, like, the Mike Wazowski eye, eye even right in the middle of it then. So I want to try and match that on the other side. So go here, I'm going to go up like you, got two in the middle, and then up like you. And I reckon if I do something pretty similar, just so it's nice and symmetrical over that side, that'll be pretty okay. Oh, actually, I'm going to make you nice and solid like you. I'm going to chuck that into there so I can get up on top of it. Are you just... I reckon you are. In fact, I, I know the thing, aren't I? It's going to be the windows again. Need to make sure I'm using those so they actually match up to the rest of the building. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? That one. But if I have this nice solid wall over here, I know exactly what I can put there. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm just going to put some final touches on, like you, along the top, like that. Then other than just filling in this with all the rest of the windows that I need, I think that's about as good as I could ask for. But there's one thing that's missing. One thing that's missing has been missing for a long bloody time, and that is my thick 44 flag. I'm going to need the purple one, of course. Wall hanging. Top hanging? Is it that one, actually? That looks about... What's the difference? Is that one just like... Oh, this is on the bottom of the frame. That one's on the top of the frame. It's three wides. A so perfect next to the balustrade. Right there. There we go. Hanging up. Right of place. Right where it needs to be. Because that's going to be my bedroom right there, after all. Right centered. Smack bang in the middle. But look at that. Fix up the windows. I'll go and mine some iron. And we're ready to take on the strippers tomorrow. But look how good that looks. Look how good it's all come together. I'm actually stoked with that. One last look. One last look from the top. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, nah, yeah, you've done well on that one, Wilder Boy. Congratulations. You didn't completely bin it, but I did finally get my house built. So you can all stop yelling at me in the comments. I finally did get it done. But I'll finish those windows, go get some iron, and then tomorrow, continue my steel production and go and try and find the next couple of books I need to get my gyrocopter. But I'll have to come back and hopefully take to the skies in another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.